Welcome to Canada, eh? As you can see, Navigation Nowhere is back. How was your trip, man? Good. Yeah? Yeah. What'd you do? Just hang out with a bunch of weirdos at a tiny house festival? Uh, pretty much. Yeah, a bunch of bus nuts. <laughs> Sweet. But they were fun. That's cool. So, he's back. Uh, there wasn't too many videos when he was gone because it was raining most of the time and then I was gallivanting around town, uh, driving campground host Brad around, uh, racing school buses, trying to find parts, editing, uploading, all that kind of stuff. So uh, 10 days kind of went by rather quickly. That's a good thing about filming almost every single day and then uploading every other day because then I have more, uh, you know, more opportunity to take a few days off or if something happens. So anyways, let's jump into the build this morning. We got some exciting things today. We are going to be completing one of the coolest features of the bus, which also, by the way, I think is a first in a, uh, in a van life uh, uh, schoolie world. Um, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, because I know you guys love to do uh, fact checks, but uh, we'll be working on the uh, roof today. All right, several videos ago, I did explain how to use a heat gun, so we're not gonna go through that again. We're not gonna be redundant, but uh, all this is gonna be removed. And uh, you've seen us play with this toy before, which is almost out. So yeah. if you uh, do a conversion, buy several of these things. Uh, yeah, at least two for big bus. They're least. worth their money in, in gold, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, this thing, I did all this. I guess I didn't see it before, but this was all like, had black caulk on and stuff. Yep. Like, not even 10 minutes. And That's all right. I did, all I did was, yeah. While eating an apple. Okay. All right. All right, guys. Phase one is done. We just removed all the adhesive and some extra caulking and uh, silicone uh, from uh, the part closest to the hole. And uh, this one is done as well. Now we're just gonna clean this all up and uh, we're probably gonna use a wire wheel and uh, uh, also uh, Navigation Nowhere is up there grinding, or sorry, welding some of the holes shut here doing this little spot weld, spot weld and grind. So this is gonna be a incredibly high quality bus. Grinded these a little bit too close, as you can see. Uh, that one just needs to be touched up a bit, but this one kind of popped out. Uh, I forgot that we're going to be putting some uh, butyl tape on top of this, and uh, really, this is just kind of overkill, but uh, it's going to completely seal waterproof uh, these uh, holes here. Also, today there is another uh, tornado warning. Uh, not what's the other one? An alert advisory it's like I think it's like a full-on warning so they said if the sky turns green run like the wind not really sure where I, where I would <laughs> run to out here uh, you're gonna run like the wind from a tornado yeah it's like uh, pretty silly I know yeah, outrun a tornado. I know has anyone ever outrun a tornado I don't know let me know in the comments I'm sure be storm chasers in the bus hey now we're thinking we can take the bus we got like these openings in the roof. That's right. We probably have a pretty good view. Hey, not opposed to that. It has been on my list of uh, things, exciting things to do in the bus, to chase down a storm. Although, I don't really know if we would outrun it in this thing, because it's not exactly the fastest. Next exciting thing for today, this is called uh, Margard, Lexan Margard. This is essentially scratch proof glass. We just picked it up in town and we are going to put it up there and see how it looks. Alright, here we go. Here's the first look. 
slightly flexible. This is a six millimeter thick material here. So, um, yeah, not really sure the best way to, to do this. Maybe in the middle, work our way out. But uh, very exciting. This is going to be a massive, massive skylight. All right, here we go. The moment of truth. Uh, in a nutshell, we're just gonna make some marks, drill some holes, and put it up there. You know the old saying, measure twice, cut once? Yes. That's what we're trying to do. This oh. piece of uh, Margard was $250. I thought you were talking to me for a second. Well, I kind of am. Uh, <laughs> so we're just gonna make sure this thing is uh, right on the money. I have a feeling it will be, but I wouldn't be surprised if we were off because, well, that's just kind of what happens. Yeah. Guys, look who it is! The schoolie showed up! Hey! hey. Up? hey. <laughs> oh, it's been so long, I'm looking forward to catching up. Yeah, it's been like, I don't know how long now. But first I gotta go reapply uh, mosquito spray. Uh, so, Dean, please yes, tell sir. us what you've been up to the past four months, five months since uh, RTR. Oh, I've seen you since then, haven't I? No. <laughs> really? I don't think so. No, I saw you once. Where? Um, yeah, I can't remember, but I know. <laughs> like I'm saying, I see you everywhere I go. Um, oh, I know where it was. Where? Um, we went to that junkyard and everything. Where, where the hell Oh, was right. It? Yeah, Arizona. in Arizona. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Arizona still, but it was up in Phoenix. Yes. Uh, I've been traveling. Went back home for a month and did some volunteer work. And then last little bit I've been in Tetons with a van life meetup. Yep. That was fun. Now I'm doing the Canada thing. Sick. And you're, how... you guys, if you'll let me leave. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what. I saved the max van for you. <laughs> you were good with that last one. There, yeah. Hey, we purposely skipped it up there. Yeah, but, yeah. but I got to tell you, one. I'm the worst tin snipper on planet Earth. Yeah, I, I suck. I, I know, I'm sorry. You use a grinder so that's Yeah. Anyway, you, um, you don't have to worry about anything, grind it. And then where are you off to after this? Uh, heading to Alaska. Sick. With Nomadic Movement and Jeremy Veach. Awesome. Yeah, that sounds fun. fun. It's yeah. going to be an epic trip. going to pick his brain about a little more. And yeah, he's, he's got some good... Yeah. Don't you have a friend up there that installed the turbo for you or something? Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> we got we got Rod uh, up in... Uh, up in I think it was Tesla. Yeah, he's in Tesla. All right, if, if yeah. anybody uh, meets um, uh, Michael in answer. person, ask him about all the funny stories in Alaska because there's more to it than just blowing out a turbo. Oh, yeah. yeah there's a lot <laughs> of stories about it. So, turns out we can't punk Dean. I can't play, play a prank on him because the first thing he says when he shows up is hey am I gonna get to try some beaver stew sounds good <laughs> so we're bringing oh, oh. it we're bringing it over to I'm making some uh, pork some really thin pork stew right now but without the stew because I want to make sure I eat before I that? eat beaver <laughs> it's, it's, it's just, just an appetizer it's just ham <laughs> so anyways we got some uh, stuff we use for carnitas I don't know what I'll put in there, but we just brought it just in case. Potatoes, onion, carrot, celery, and the protein of the day. Whoa. Fresh beaver. Looks like heart. All right, for any chefs out there, it's just basically onion, celery, carrots, little red potato, and here we go. Here is the back strap off of the beaver, and we're just going to cut it up and throw it in there. Here we go. This is uh, the beaver stew. Uh, reduce, reuse, recycle. That's eat. like eating skunk. <laughs> <laughs> That's like eating skunk. Gosh. We're yeah. not going to eat that, are Yeah, you? we got the peanut gallery over here. Rat. You're a sewer rat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the we got, rat. look at how good this yeah, looks. Nice and tender. Like yeah. That's what Michael's used to. I don't know. Yeah, exactly. Are, right. you boy, are you boys hungry? I'm very hungry. You ready for some beaver? Yeah, I am. Yeah, Dean? It's been a while since you had some beaver, right? I've been kind of playing that long. It's a super rat. Wait, wait, it's, it's really hot. It's hot yeah, beaver? I know it's really hot. It's, it's your, like, it's like, your Instagram rubber. thing? Rubber. I, I, no, this is, this, is, this is YouTube's crap. This ain't Instagram <laughs> crap. It's like it's like it's, oh, yeah, well, you want your, where's your phone? I'll do it uh, Instagram. Oh, oh there we like go. Rubber. Yeah, he's got the beaver. There it goes. Well, he's still got all, he hasn't coughed her up yet. It's really not that bad. It's really not that bad. It, is it good though? It's, it's, it's really not. not it's bad. like good. It's like not. What does it taste like? Deer? It's got the consistency of a uh, super. A little, ball. a little less chewy than pork. Okay. Um. So like a like a like a uh, beef stewing meat. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's like it's yeah it's uh, what's it called uh, like a sirloin. Yeah. Like, like Do you a think meat? that's the uh, cook's fault? Oh. Do you think that's uh, the meat's fault? No. 
No, okay. I think it's I think it's the it's the, what it is. Um, <laughs> what flavor? Yeah. Um, so oh, mild. I'm um, cumin. Mm, onion. I'm tasting a little cumin. I'm tasting a little onion. It's a little chewy, but it's not too bad. Well, so you grabbed a part with a bunch of tendon on it. Alright, here we go. All the time. Ready? Cheers this beef. Do the mean this beans are his. Beef yep. cheers. Okay. Yep. Yeah, ready? Cheers. No. Right, here we go. Okay. I'll be right back, Brad. It's delicious. Good flavor. Right? Tastes like beef. Mm -hmm. Beaver. The other red meat. Yeah. 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 Yeah.